Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Andy Park. Welcome back to this channel. In today's video, I want to share one of my favorite search engines or knowledge engines that I've been using for over 10 years. It's what I use for simple calculations and for research. The engine is called Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha is a computational knowledge engine. You enter your search query and it provides answers. But unlike typical search engines like Google, Yahoo, and Bing, where it serves up a list of web pages and documents, Wolfram Alpha serves curated data and structured form. Its search scope is limited largely to computational facts, but because of that, the results you get is nicely structured and organized. And although this computational engine is mostly centered around mathematics and scientific calculations, I'll show you five practical ways you can use it in your everyday search, whether it's for business calculations or for research. Okay, in Google, let's search for Wolfram Alpha. On the main page, you can see the type of queries that you can run on this search engine. So definitely biased towards math and science, but there are other queries that you can run on this site as well. Let's start with a simple date and time calculation. You can of course click on one of these cards and see some of the examples of queries that you can run. Or you can go directly to the query box and type in your search. As a project manager, I'm often concerned with project due dates and how many working days are remaining. So we can use this search engine to calculate, for example, how many days from today until October 1st, 2021. Okay, it's telling us that it's assuming that we're using month, day, and year. And it shows the input interpretation that Wolfram Alpha is making. which all looks correct. So the result is 194 days from today until October 1st. So far, there's nothing special about this. You can of course run the same query in Google and probably get the same result. Let's as a matter of fact, try that. Okay, it shows 194 days, which is the same result, but Let's add a layer of complexity here. Instead of just knowing the days from today until October 1st, I want to know business days specifically because people are not gonna be working over the weekend. So I want to add a criteria that says how many business days from today until October 1st. Okay, now it shows 137 days. And then you see the additional results as well and it also shows the list of u.s holidays if you were to plug this into google you don't get the answer you'll have to go into one of these links that'll help you calculate the answer going back to wolfram alpha you can even ask for things like how many tuesdays from today until October 1st, because Tuesdays are the meeting days, the working meeting days, and I want to know how many working meeting days we have with the team. And it shows 28 Tuesdays. As you can see, I think this is super helpful in calculating dates. Now let's try running some queries on demographics and social statistics. So let's say I want to know how many college graduates live in my neighboring town of Paramus, New Jersey. Again, it shows the data input interpretation up top. Make sure that they're all correct. And then shows the results on the bottom. Okay, separated into male and female. As you can see, the data that it returns is really structured and organized. And if you opt for the pro version, it lets you download this data for further analysis. Uh, and if you don't want to opt for the pro version, I'm sure there's a way that you can work it into Excel by using uh, Get and Transform. Maybe I'll make a separate video about that in the future. And if I wanted to get information on Paramus, New Jersey demographics, 
you can see the race composition you can hit more to get additional breakdown again wolfram alpha curates data from different external sources so you can see the listing of those external sources here next let's explore money and finance we can look up performance of stocks and you can actually compare multiple companies in one query so for example if i were to type in we can enter a ticker symbol for microsoft and i don't know the ticker symbol for amazon so i'm just going to type in amazon but again in the input interpretation it knows so we have msft and amzn it shows us the latest trades followed by all these other financial data and for the project managers out there we can calculate net present value and future value by plugging in a few variables so for example let's say we want to calculate the present value for something that has a future value of $1,200 with an interest, fixed interest of 4.5% and period of 10. Okay, it tells us that the present value based on the criteria that we put in is $765.80. And you can, of course, work this the other way around by instead of future value, you can put PV for present value, put in your interest rate and the period. Uh, and it'll calculate the future value off of that. We can also search for product information. So if you wanted to get information on Tesla's Model S, gives you all the basic information, what type of car this is, what the price range is, how many passengers, with additional details like fuel efficiency, and physical dimension again you can get this information from google but it's just the way that the data is structured and presented i think it's helpful for people who are doing research and this of course does uh simple unit measures as well so you can search for basic things like how many cups in a gallon and again, the neat thing here is that it doesn't just tell you the answer for the specific question that we asked, but all these additional conversions as well. And for fun, we can type in things like how many tennis balls will fit in a bathtub. Okay, so approximately 1200 based on, I guess, the size of a bathtub. And it's making some assumptions here. Okay, so this really doesn't have any practical value other than it's kind of fun, but I'm sure you can find a more useful way to use this. There are so many other factual or computational search you can perform with Wolfram Alpha, including facts on history, persons of interest, among myriad of other topics. And unlike results from Wikipedia, which presents information in largely narrative form, Wolfram Alpha presents just the facts in structured, data-centric form. For your next research, I hope you can find some use for Wolfram Alpha. And if you already use this computational engine for your work and have any suggestions to share, please comment down below. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And bye for now.